Hi, YouTube. My name is Deborah Lindsay, and I'm here today to talk to you about the basic recipe for the emotional freedom technique. Now, the emotional freedom technique, also known as EFT, is a very elegant and easy uh, alternative healthcare protocol that is based in ancient acupressure. How it works is you tap on different meridians in specific orders in order to um, clear the energy blockages in the system. And as you do that, your body and your emotions and um, all aspects of yourself begin to heal. So um, the basic recipe for EFT is really very simple. It um, starts with a setup phrase. And what the setup phrase does is it identifies the issue, uh, sets the intention for what it is that you're going to be feeling. And once you devise the setup phrase, then you, uh, you acclimate it or you accommodate it with an affirmation phrase. And that affirmation phrase is just to release some of the stress around it, to release the tension. When you accept an issue, you give yourself permission to forgive it and move past it. So the setup phrase is in two parts. The first part is the identification of the issue, which is, even though I have this problem, and you identify the problem. So even though um, my shoulder hurts right now. And then you would um, say your acceptance, uh, acceptance aspect of the setup phrase, which is, I deeply and completely love my, I deeply and completely love myself. Or um, I love and accept myself. You can say it any way you want. So the complete setup phrase would be, even though I, uh, even though my shoulder hurts, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Pretty straightforward stuff. You can do it with anything. Even though I have this headache, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though my teacher said I was stupid, I deeply and completely accept myself. Um, even though Joe Blow called me a name, it really doesn't matter what the issue is. You can try it on anything and you'll be amazed at how often you get results. So, you say your setup statement, then your affirmation statement um, to forgive it. So, while you're doing that, you are going to um, rub what's called the sore spot. Now, the sore spot is located right here. Let me see if I can make this so you can see it. Um, take your hand as if you were doing the Pledge of Allegiance, and I know that's an American thing, but just follow me. So take your hand and place it over your heart and put your fingers down. And right in here, you're going to find a tender spot, also known as the sore spot. This is the one spot that you will rub. The rest of them you're going to tap, but you want to rub the sore spot. So you rub the sore spot while you say the, uh, the setup statement, which is, even though I have this problem, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I have this problem, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I have this problem, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Say it three times while rubbing the sore spot. Then you're going to take the first part of that setup statement and use it as a reminder phrase while you go through tapping the various spots. So uh, in this case, we're just going to say this problem. Okay. So the first point that you're going to tap is right here at the very beginning of your eyebrow. And you just tap there. You're going to tap comfortably, not so much that you hurt yourself, but not that you feel it. And you're going to say this problem. You tap, it doesn't matter how many times, but in sort of a groove, I guess, and approximately seven times. So this problem. Then you go to the side of your eye point. And the side of the eye is right here, almost on the corner of your eye. And you say, uh, this problem. Then right here underneath your eye, it's, it's a little bit of a tender spot there too. And you say, this problem. Then you tap underneath your nose. That's easy. And then the chin point. Now, the chin point is really an under the lip point, and it's right here in this indent. So you tap right there and say, this problem. Then you go down and you're going to tap on the collarbone point. Now, to find the collarbone point, just find your collarbone and follow it forward to the beginning. And you're going to find a knob that sticks up there. The technical name for it is clavicular knob. 
So you're going to tap right there on the clavicular knob. I'm going to do it quietly so it doesn't affect the microphone. And then you're going to go to the under the arm point. Now, the under the arm point is really, um, for women, it's going to be on the bra strap. So you just sort of go perpendicular to the base of the armpit and across from the arm, uh, from the bra strap or across from your nipples, really. And uh, you're going to find a sore spot right there, too. And you tap there and you repeat the reminder phrase, which is this problem. So then you go uh, and you go to your hand. So now you're going to go to the hand point and you're going to tap on the side of your nail uh, in each one of the cases. In this case, it's the thumb point is first. Now the actual point is right here on the corner of the thumbnail. So, uh, or on the corner of each nail. So you tap right there approximately seven times. And then you go to the next finger and you tap right there and you say this problem. And then the next one, which is this problem. And then you can skip the ring finger in the, in the original basic recipe, you skip the ring finger and go to the pinky. The reason you're doing that is you're picking it up with what's called the nine gamut, which is coming up next. So you tap right there on the pinky and then you go to the karate chop point, which is on the side of the hand, also known as the side of the hand point. And many people tap this with more than one finger. You can just do one or you can do two, but you just get a lot of um, points right there if you, if you use uh, four fingers, which I do. So, so from there, you're going to go to the top of the hand point. Um, and this is called the nine gamut procedure. So what you do is you go to the top of your hand and you see these two knuckles between the pinky and the ring finger. And you go down about a half an inch past and you can see where there's an indent there or you can feel the indent. So you will tap on that indent while you do, uh, while you close your eyes and then open your eyes. You look hard down right, go back to the center, look hard down left, go back to the center. And you can do that in either order, right or left. It doesn't matter which one comes first. And then you're going to uh, roll your eyes all the way around like this. And then do it again the other direction. Okay. Then you're going to hum a song, sing happy birthday or sing, you're going to hum any song. It doesn't matter as long as it's a tune. Um, count to five and then hum a tune again. So we just use happy birthday because that's what uh, Gary Craig introduced in EFT. And it's like this. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> now, what that does is it engages the two sides of the brain. One side of your body of your brain is logical, and the other side of the brain is emotional. And so, um, what it's doing is is integrating the two sides of the brain through the hypothalamus, so that you now are activating both parts of the issue, both the logical part and the emotional part. So then you go back and you tap the points again. So eyebrow side of the eye, under the eye, under the nose, chin, collarbone, under the arm, thumb, pointer, middle, pinky, side of the hand. And then take a deep breath in and integrate it. So that's the basic recipe for EFT. If you want, you can also gauge your results. So start beforehand with what are called the SUDS levels, the Subjective Unit Distress Scale. And you say, right now, when I think about this issue or I feel it in my body, on a scale of 0 to 10, it's about a 10, okay, or it's a 6, whatever. And then gauge it again after you tap. If the first round gets the number down, then you're obviously doing something right. Congratulations. Do it another round. Do two more rounds, three more rounds. 10 more rounds, whatever you need to do to get it down to zero. You might also want to shake it up a little bit and add different um, affirmation phrases. If the first one isn't getting you down quickly enough, say, even though my right shoulder hurts, or even though my right shoulder is burning right now, instead of um, the general statement. And sometimes the more specificity you add, the faster the issue gets well. 
So thank you. If you're interested in taking my online training through the International Metaphysical University, you can reach us at www.intermetu.com, I-N-T-E-R-M-E-T-U.com, or call us at 304-295-4411. Have a great day.